Hi, I'm Bill Wells with W.D. Wells Associates and Watercrest Farms. I uh, wanted to introduce you all to a project we're doing here at our nursery. Uh, the structure you see behind me is our pump house. We use it to irrigate our 90-acre nursery here. Uh, when we constructed this, we thought we wanted to do something a little bit different with this building uh, and put an actual green roof on top of it. So that's what we're going to show you folks today. Uh, the design calls for the plantings actually to extend up these slopes over the roof and down the other side so it kind of will ultimately, when it grows in, uh, actually look kind of like a grassy hillock as, as you might see in the, in the wild. Uh, but again, it's, it's a green roof project that we're going to construct and we'll just sort of walk you through the, through the steps of this green roof. Um, this is a small scale green roof, not, not anything like you see on top of of City Hall or whatever, but you know, this is something you could do at your home or you could hire uh, someone like us to actually install this for you at your house. Um, so keep keep tuned and we'll uh, fill you in on, on a little bit of Green Roof Project here. Thank you. My name is Evan Mortini and uh, I'm one of the designers here at WD Wells & Associates. Uh, what we are doing is constructing a Type 2 6 inch green roof. It's an extensive green roof. Uh, the reason we're going with six inches is because what happens is the moisture will be held in and not as much water is necessary. Um, what we're constructing is, like I said, a six inch green roof and what we're going to be using is our waterproofing here is an EPDM. It's a single ply waterproofing and it doesn't have any seams so a root barrier is not required. So what we'll be constructing it with is a dimple mat which will be the sheet drain of the system and why do you need a sheet drain the reason we need a sheet drain is because for excess water that is seeping through our extensive media for heavy rains there's got to be a way for the water to get off the roof there has to be a re there has there's got to be a way for the for the runoff to get off on those excess rains so the reason why we're putting this down is so what happens is that we don't have a bathtub effect where we have water pouring over the sides of the parapets. So this way, the water has a place to go. This roof is pitching an eighth of an inch um, towards this edge here. So we're putting our sheet drain down, and as you can see, we have separation fabric up against the parapet. The reason why we have that underneath of the, sep of the sheet drain here is because we don't want any of the soil touching the parapet. Over time, if pressure is going down on that soil, it will eventually start penetrating the waterproof and you can get a, a leak in your roof. So what we've done is put separation fabric all along the edge for protection. Over top of that separation fabric goes our sheet drain. So as you can see here, since the roof is pitching this way, what we have is an, a metal edge. It's a six by five metal edge. You guys lift this up here. As you can see, this is our six inch edge. What's gonna happen is our, met, our metal edge here is gonna be sitting on top of two layers of sheet drain. And then what we'll be doing is putting on top of that sheet drain, we'll be putting this engineered hypernet. This hypernet is roughly about two and a half feet wide. All right, we're gonna be laying this down on top of that double layer of sheet drain. As you can see, what we did is we put down our protection layer on our parapet. We did, laid over top of it our sheet drain so we have adequate drainage at the base of the green roof. And we can see at our termination edge where the water will be draining to, our pitch on the roof is going this way. So the way to keep the, the soil in the green roof, what we have is our term, we have a metal edge to hold the system in. So in order to ballast the system down, what we have is an engineering layer. This layer is, go, as you can see, going a few feet into the green roof. We have tied the metal edge down to this engineering layer. What's going to happen is, or the next step, is to put our six inches of media on top of all the layers. So what's going to happen is, the weight of the green roof is going to weigh down this engineering layer, holding in our metal edge. perimeters of the group is put in a six inch gravel base. The reason we're doing this is because it's a vegetated free zone. This keeps the vegetation off your parapet. 
Reason being is that eventually these green the green roof plants will want to start growing over the edge if it's allowed to. This is a non-vegetated area. It confines the area and it helps with the amount of wind coming up over the parapet. In order to keep the media out of the gravel base in order to do its job, what we had to do was put in a separation fabric in between the stone and the media. So that's why we have this down. This is a non-woven polyester fabric. It does not allow plants to grow through it, but at the same time holds a certain amount of moisture so the plants can grow up to it. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is backfilling media Green Earth Media, which you'll take a look at. This is an intensive media. You'll notice that it's got more fines than it does anything else. It's got more organic matter in it as well. This is used in more intensive green roofs for thicker bases. So we have backfilled all the media onto the green roof. We have a six inch depth. So only thing that is left to do after this point is one, as you can see, come back and clip the fabric separating your gravel from your drain from your media. Reason is you don't want that media getting into your vegetative free zone at the area. So what we're going to do next is come back, we're going to clip all the fabric off so where the media meets the gravel, you're not even going to see that fabric. Next what we're going to do is plug the green roof. Okay, here we are back on the green roof project. Uh, we've got the plants here. It looks like we have about, what, half a dozen, seven flats that we're going to put onto the roof here this, today. Uh, we should pretty much get the whole thing planted out on the top here anyway, then hopefully we'll get over to the side soon enough. Uh, so more to come, but uh, this, is the, this, is the, uh, this is the exciting part where it actually gets to look like a green roof.